SB 8 bans nearly all abortions in the state after six weeks of pregnancy, before many women even know they are pregnant, and months before a pregnancy is viable. It does so even in cases of rape, sexual abuse, or incest. And it further prohibits any effort to aid the doctors who provide pre-viability abortions or the women who seek them. The act is clearly unconstitutional under long-standing Supreme Court precedent. Texas does not dispute that its statute violates Supreme Court precedent. Instead, the statute includes an unprecedented scheme to, in the Chief Justice's words, quote, insulate the state from responsibility, close quote. It does not rely on the state's executive branch to enforce the law, as is the norm in Texas and everywhere else. Rather, the statute deputizes all private citizens without any showing of personal connection or injury to serve as bounty hunters. The complaint therefore seeks a declaratory judgment that SB 8 is invalid under the Supremacy Clause and the 14th Amendment, is preempted by federal law, and violates the doctrine of intergovernmental immunity. The United States also seeks a permanent and preliminary injunction prohibiting enforcement of the statute against the state of Texas, including against the state's officers, employees, and agents, and private parties it has effectively deputized who would bring suit under SB 8. The Department of Justice has a duty to defend the Constitution of the United States and to uphold the rule of law. Today, we fulfill that duty by filing the lawsuit I have just described. 